and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have another introduction for you. Surprise, surprise, it's January so there's going to be a lot of introductions. I've already filmed some that just haven't gone up yet. Um, that's just that's the nature of the beast in January just like December is, is a lot of finales. January is just a bunch of intros and I have another one for you. This was kind of planned a little after the fact which is why it was not in my video yesterday. I had already filmed my intro for my pan that palette before this was um really brought about so without further ado i'm going to show you my next pan that palette only this one's a little bit different than um my standard pan that palette um in the fantastic ladies we always do um a, like a post to suggest for have to have members suggest um themes for the upcoming pan that palette then um we put them all on the list everyone votes on them we take like the top half um and then that goes into another round and then the top half of those winners that it just goes and goes and goes until we finally get um our theme for the group kicking it old school is the fantastic ladies theme for this year which is an older palette and um you know I am painting an old palette. This one right here, the Coastal Sense 88 palette, which if you watched yesterday's video, you would have seen the um, what that palette looks like. And, and I'm gonna show it to you again. And I do have it on my eyes today. But, um, so anywho, one of the themes was um, put in there for voting purposes was by Paula. It's better together. It's basically two palettes that work um, well together. Um, or they're better together, however you want to interpret that. And um, a lot of us really liked that theme. It just didn't win. It got a lot of votes. It made it to like the, I want to say the next to last round. It just did not, um, it did not win. And it could have been brought back for another year, but um, a bunch of us were, you know, saying that we really wanted to see this come back. Um, I initially was hoping that it would come back for another year because I think it's a cute idea and then you know some things went on behind the scenes lo and behold um we're doing this kind of as a small collab and like the rest is history so I will be introducing another palette to go with my original pan that palette which like I said is the Coastal Sense 88 palette and when I do updates on this, they're going to be together in the same video. So like I said, I had already filmed the other video first before this came about. So that's why these are being done in two separate videos. But for the future, they will be together because they're better together. See a theme here. So um, the premise is, like I said, two palettes that work together um, or they're better together. I, I think some of the examples were you could have a matte and a shimmer, you could have neutrals and colorful, um, an old and a new, anything that um, kind of melds them together, so to speak. So bearing in mind that I have this Coastal Sense 88 palette, I'm going to show it to you because I've only used it once because I'm filming this on the first. So today was the only day I could use this palette. Um, yeah, it's a lot of greens, which is what I have on my eyes today. Um, some like light blues, some teals, which I don't mind the teals. I don't mind the greens. It's the blues, the blurple I could do without. And then that lonely little black down there. Um, I needed to find something that would uh, make this a little bit happier to uh, work with. And um, I feel like I have a palette that is going to work well with this. And it is the Essence Dancing Green Palette. I got this for Christmas for my kids last year, like 20, 2021, not 20, not the, not the Christmas that we just had like last month, but the year prior. Um, and I've only used this a couple of times. It looks like this. I'm going to insert a little video for you to check it out. It is really pretty and it has a lot of really pretty greens in it, but it's not that big, which is kind of nice considering my um, Coastal Scents is a large palette. I feel like this is going to play nice and I don't have to be like full on green in your face like I am today. So, um, you know, there's like a nice light shimmer there. There's kind of like an army, like grungy brown green there. 
and um, some shimmers, a nice dark shade right here that I can use to deepen my outer V, which I don't have anything that's dark enough to do that within this palette. Even though this green down here looks really dark, that's actually the green that I have all over and I had to darken it with the black. So um, it's just not dark enough for the way I like to wear my shadow. So that's where this little guy comes into play. Now here is my little twist on this because um, this is my, my play year. I want to play with all the things. I don't want to be like tied down to finishing a lot of things. I will be finishing my um, Coastal Sense 88 palette because I just got to go. It is so old, it's got to go. This I've had just over a year, literally just over a year. I'm not at the point where I want to finish it and um, that's not what this year is about for me. So my goal for this palette is to hit pan in all six of these shades and then I think what I'm going to do, not set in stone, but I think what I'm going to do is roll this out and roll something else in to hit pan. I have a bunch of these little six pan palettes from Essence. I have a bunch of quads from, or not quads, some quints from ColourPop. And I feel like um, I have some other stuff that will go with what's in the Coastal Sense 88 palette. So that way I don't have to feel married to this little, little guy right here. So, you know, a little incentive that I get to play with more stuff if I can hit pan in all six of these. And I think I can do it in a reasonable amount of time. I don't think it's gonna happen in the next month or two, but if I get a second palette in for the year just to hit pan on, I'm gonna be very happy to do that. And I will feel like this um, this little collab is a success for me because um, we all know Jessica wants to play. This is my play year and I'm going to enjoy it to the max and I'm not gonna overwhelm myself with um, having to finish so much stuff. That's kind of like the opposite of what I wanna do this year. I mean, I wanna finish some things, but I just, I want to touch all the things, all the things. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. There's going to be a list of people down below that have joined in on this. There's going to be a lot of eyeshadow this year, like a whole lot of eyeshadow. My video coming up tomorrow is another small collab and it's eyeshadow. Again, more eyeshadow. It's a theme this year because I have a lot of it and um, I want to play with it. So that's the way it's going to go. All right, I am going to wrap this up. Definitely go check out Paula, who is um, the creator of this little um, collab here. And again, there's going to be a list of people that have joined in. I don't know if there is a spreadsheet that Paula's going to do or what. I'm I'm just going to, um, I'm going to put the hashtag up here. I, I want to say it's hashtag better together PTP for Pan That Palette. But um, don't quote me on that. I will put it on the screen so that you guys can see it because I don't have it written down right here. It was in an Instagram chat, so uh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.